I mean, these guys are replicating that, you know, rich soul. That when is, the 50s, Gibson were handmade guitars because right. that was the only way to make a guitar, you know, and that only lasted until like the 60s. Those guys were retiring and the companies were bought. So that's why that golden era of 40s, mm. 50s was really incredible. All these people had come over from Europe, artisans, all sorts of people. Every guitar company was basically ethnic back then. Then they moved out and then, but like, you know, like, you know, Guild was in Little Italy because it was Italian it owned and he brought up guys who were making stuff in Italy and they went to Little Italy. Yeah. That's amazing. It was amazing. Then they had to go to Hoboken because they got bigger and then they went to Connecticut. And then, but that was like the 70s already. So it's very interesting so, how yeah. it just got done, how it became what it became and somehow it got tied to rock and roll, you know? <laughs> no, that's cool. I mean, it's, it's the melting pot story, right? Represented by guitars. It was going on in every business. Right. You know, like there was the you know golden era of our country, like what happened cars in those years. Totally.